DIY Wind Power Building and Installing Your Homemade Wind Turbine A wind turbine offers an exciting alternative energy source that can be built at home, offering hands-on opportunities to explore renewable energy while supporting sustainability efforts and giving urban dwellers practical skills. Be certain to obtain an average wind speed in your location before embarking on any project. Furthermore, monitor generator output and oil bearings when necessary. A homemade wind turbine can help save energy and lower electricity bills by producing renewable, clean power from renewable resources. A home wind turbine also makes an engaging hands-on science project for students learning about wind energy and sustainability, providing opportunities to explore creativity, teamwork, and problem-solving skills as well as environmental awareness and responsibility in young learners. Although getting started may prove challenging, making one with only $30 in materials should not prove impossible. To build a wind turbine yourself, the essential components include generator, tower, batteries, inverter, charge controller, and wires. To achieve optimal performance from your wind turbine, it is vitally important that it be placed in an optimal location. Taking into account average wind speeds in your area as well as any obstructions such as buildings, trees, or power lines in its path. Also check local building codes as some stipulate minimum distance requirements between it and other structures. Your wind turbine's blades will capture wind currents and transfer mechanical energy through its blades to a rotating shaft located within its generator, creating mechanical energy which turns into electricity via an electromagnetic field around its rotating shaft. As most generators produce direct current, DC, to use its output it must first be connected to an inverter which converts this DC voltage to AC for use by home appliances. Once your generator, tower, and batteries have been assembled, it's time to wire the system together. Before beginning this task, it is imperative that you understand each component's operation, as electrical wiring can be very dangerous. Also, it is advisable to acquire the appropriate tools such as wire cutters, strippers, crimping tools, and electrical tape. Multimeters may also come in handy to check voltage. As part of your initial wiring process, it is a good idea to create a detailed diagram that can serve as a guide throughout its completion. Referring back to this diagram will help prevent you from making errors that could cause system failure and test the battery bank and generator at each step in order to identify potential issues and solve any potential difficulties that may arise. Building your own wind turbine can be an enjoyable project that combines creativity, sustainability and education. No matter if it be made out of PVC pipe, wooden boards, vertical posts, repurposed materials or another source entirely, Building one will inspire students and adults alike and may encourage renewable energy and engineering as future careers. Start building your DIY wind turbine by gathering all necessary materials. These include a generator, tower, batteries, inverter, charge controller, and wires. DC motors make ideal generators as they use winding copper wire and magnets to produce the electricity when the wind passes over turbine blades causing friction that leads to magnetic fields interacting with magnets and pushing back against each other producing electricity which then gets converted into household current and stored away into batteries for later use. As per your needs, you should select an ideal wattage output to meet. This will depend on any appliances or batteries you plan on charging. By choosing appropriate battery or appliance sizes, you can pinpoint an optimal generator wattage to target for maximum efficiency. Once you've assembled all the required components, set up your turbine to test its performance. Place it in an open area without obstructions. Use a fan to blow air directly into it. If your rotor design can generate the required amount of power, tie a paper clip or small washer onto a string attached to its rotor. When spinning commences, the weight of spinning rotor pulls on string which transports item up tower. Repeat this procedure three times, noting the average maximum weight in your lab notebook after each trial. Once your design has been finalized, the next step should be assembling all of the components. This includes building your tower from strong materials while considering stability and height requirements. Furthermore, make sure it stands upwind of buildings or trees, 30 feet or higher above anything within 300 feet with an anchor securely planted into the ground in case there's a strong windstorm that threatens it overturn. Wind turbines are mechanical devices designed to capture air currents and convert them to electricity using blades to capture and transmit them down a drive shaft where they turn generator components for clean, renewable power production in your home or farm. A premium DIY kit may offer detailed instructions for mounting and wiring your turbine, while common hardware store supplies allow DIY enthusiasts to build homemade wind power systems without spending thousands for professional installations. At the forefront of creating your own wind turbine is understanding your energy requirements. 
This can be accomplished using your utility bill as a basis to calculate average daily consumption, helping you determine what size turbine is necessary to cover all or some of these needs. Tower height will also play an integral part in how much power is generated. Professional installers are well versed at helping determine an optimum height to site it at. Once you have your electrical specifications, the next step should be selecting an optimal location for your turbine. An ideal site should provide minimal obstructions for wind flow. Upwind of buildings and trees and at least 30 feet above any objects within 300 feet should be ideal. To connect to the grid safely, it may also require getting permission from local permitting authorities so as to comply with all state and local regulations. After selecting an ideal location, you will need to dig a 9-foot diameter hole and fill it with concrete as a footing for your tower. Next, you must construct and install the turbine platform, nacelle. Finally, drill two holes for wire connections at the base of your nacelle before mounting it on your tower with extension cord wire going through these two holes and up through it all before threading through to reach your nacelle. Wind turbines convert the energy of wind into electricity, resembling large propellers with teardrop-shaped blades. Wind turbines use air currents to transfer mechanical energy up the shaft and turn generator components to produce electricity. As more wind enters your turbine, more electricity it generates. An expert installer can help determine what size turbine you require based on your annual energy use and budget. Choose your blades. Whether building or purchasing pre-made wind turbine blades, choose ones with proper dimensions and pitches for maximum efficiency. Furthermore, know if you plan to use three or four blade designs. Adding more blades may increase torque but may cause vibration when spinning. Your wind turbine needs a 60-foot monopole or commercial tower kit to house it or dig a 9-foot hole and fill it with concrete for its footing, then run underground wire from it to its inverter location via trenching. Assemble your nacelle on top of the pole, connect it via threaded connections and run electrical wire from there into your system, connecting generator and battery as desired. Before connecting your battery bank to a generator, ensure it has a charge controller attached in order to prevent power surges that could potentially harm equipment. There are numerous solar and wind chargers on the market which will accomplish this for you. Once your generator is connected to your battery, it can start providing electricity directly into it. However, to protect the circuit, a step-up transformer or multiple step-up transformers must be used to convert direct current generated by your generator to the alternating current required by household appliances. Be sure to position your turbine away from any buildings or trees and ensure that its tower captures enough wind to keep its turbine turning for extended periods of time and generate electricity production.